Hello everyone, welcome to the second episode of Wine and Craft. <laughs> okay. Cheer. Oh, Cheer. So, um, if you haven't seen this before, the real simple. I have a ten dollar bottle of wine that um, we drinking, and we will be basically doing a wine tasting and comment is on how the wine tastes, so you can tell me how it is. So this week we're gonna make bow tie. If you look at on my webpage. Uh, for the uh, Adam Quang Ar um, Happiness Architecture, the link it in the uh, the feed, and it have the instruction of what you need, and then we'll be upload this on YouTube later. So we are having wine and cheese, and I have my guest. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Introduce Hello. yourself. Okay, I'm Louis. I'm, uh, I'm Alejandro. So they are newly arrived, um, newly Canadian. Yeah, we're newcomers <laughs> to Canada. Right, so they are originally from um, Brazil, and they've only been here. How long you guys been here? Five months. Five months. Yeah, mm -hmm. since August. Since August. All right. So let's cheer to that. Cheers. <laughs> First semester. First semester. First semester yeah. in Canada. Wow. <laughs> so we just received some snow. What do you think? Oh, it's good. Um, we had seen snow before. Yeah. Uh, but like. Canada, what amuses us, that Canada is really organized and like in half an hour everything is Clear. clean and then it starts snowing, half an hour later it's like you have snow like up to this height but then again the, the roads are clear, like the, the, the highways are clear, so everything is really, really organized. People, people know how to live with the snow, and so snow is not a problem at all. And you are, you guys are in Toronto, yes. <laughs> which is not that much snow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so if you are from around the world, and we have some people from Asia and some people from warmer climate like Brazil, uh, Mexico, watching this right now, and it actually in Canada we have snow actually up until here, uh -huh. so it sometimes it cover half the car. So that what we really call a snowstorm. And otherwise, you know, if the snow up to your knees, it's not that much of a big deal. It's <laughs> not, <laughs> it's not, and we've seen well, we've seen that because yeah. it's like life goes on, everything's normal, and it's okay. So all right, so we just drinking the, the wine. So what you got to think of this? Okay. So this is um I I still have another bottle from last week that we drink. Uh, it's called number nine. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm it's good. It's very fruity. It's very fresh. Yeah. It's yeah. nice with cheese. So you should try them. So I have some brie. I have some um, uh, pear, some nut, and um. Mm, it really combines a lot. Yeah. So it's it has a nice flavor to it because last week I was drinking and I said, oh, this actually tastes good with the. Uh, Entree or stuff, so mm -hmm. so a good option number nine for entries. Yeah, and this is only ten thirty nine. Okay. So um, most wine that actually the average about fourteen dollars. Some people think it's decent, but I discovered that you can find wine for around ten dollars and actually good. So I thought I I do a show on it, and it seemed that our Facebook thing it frozen on my computer. There are how many people watching, but I'm not sure it's playing. So give me a second. So okay. if you want and you're watching this, we actually looking at um, the comment and then we can actually interact with you guys. So if you want to write stuff on and we can actually see what you're saying and we, um, we will talk to you in the meantime and tell you whatever you have question. Uh, hoping that the computer doesn't froze up. <laughs> <laughs> So I have an old laptop and it doesn't work quite properly. So as we say, we make in bow tie. Okay. Okay. So let's put the some of this on the side, and I have the tray here for food. So Alice can do the cutting if you want, but yeah, you sure. cut straight. Up. So we're not gonna make the traditional bow tie. What for that? No, just one. So we're not gonna make the traditional bow tie that you have to tie because it requires a lot of sewing and um... No, no, no sewing <laughs> here. 
So is it your first time sewing? Yeah. Or making anything? Yeah, well, like handcraft. Yeah, it's my first time. Okay. So I used to play Lego when I was a kid, but like, that's all. Girl, that's not the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> So have you like have you ever thread a needle or anything? No. No. So have you ever sewed a button? Oh yeah, this yes, this yes. So how do you sew a button without threading a needle? Oh no, I thread a needle. I actually, my 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 grandmother she didn't seem very well, so she asked me to do that for her. Oh okay. All right. So, um, so what we're gonna do is I'm thinking it's, um an easy way to go about it. And we're gonna make a ball, and then we're gonna add a strap, uh, a strap to it, and then we can interchange the ball. So we make three parts of the uh, ball tie, and then what we can do is we can just interchange that, and that's gonna be easier. Is that right? Yeah. So that's fine. So, um, I cut a uh, a piece of paper so that we're gonna use this as a um as a um a ball tie. So I'm um, determine how big it the ball is. So if you fold it in half like so. So this is how, and then you take away the um, the seam allowance. This is where we're gonna sew. So um, I give it a half an inch all around. So and then um, the bow tie is about three inches wide. If you watch, it's about um, one, two, and three, right? So two sides of the bow is equal six inches. Okay. Right. So this is what we're gonna be making, and then we're gonna add the second and third piece later. So we're gonna do this one first. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have scissor for everybody. Okay. So you're gonna cut off the extra part for now. So use uh, this scissor for okay. paper. Use a scissor for paper. So. Right. So this is two and a half inch thick. So the widest part of the bowl is gonna be about one and a half inches thick. So this okay. is how big. Um, this is how big. So what we do now is we making a pattern for the your bowl tie. So this is how thick the bowl tie gonna be. And I was looking at the trend of the bowl tie, and I think the big one is actually gone out style, and the um, the more slimmer bowl tie gonna be more. Um, kind of more modern so that's what we're making so basically we're designing our own bow tie and we're not following pattern because I don't really I usually make my own pattern for pretty much everything <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> cheer cheers cheers for our own pattern well I'm definitely make my own, making my own pattern <laughs> oh by the way we are drinking wine so every time we have a zip or say a word of wine, you ideally should also take a drink with us. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole idea. Yeah. Alright, so let's bring the fabric out. So we have, uh, we choose what fabric we're gonna use. So Louise decided to go with the satin. Okay. Purple, purple satin. Purple. And Alejandro, he's gonna go chic with a red uh, satin silk. Yeah. And I'm gonna do a velvet. So I'm gonna do a navy velvet. So let's show what we're gonna be making. So all you have to do is no. use this and then to cut two pieces of it. Or what you can do, the other option is to fold it in half. Uh -huh. And since we don't have to sew one side, we, right? Because this is designed to sew two sides, so that's why you have two seam allowance. Okay. But since if you're gonna fold it, then you're just gonna have to take out the seam allowance. Okay. So therefore, it's gonna be this much, and then you're gonna cut, fold it, that many. Okay. So what we're gonna do first is you're gonna draw right onto the fabric. So it's easier. So I think we need a little more pen. So I will go get some more pen.
fold, correct? Yeah, so you want to fold, um, just draw right onto the fabric and then you can fold at the line, it's much easier, right? So, I lined it on the edge, okay. or if you want, just do that. Oh, okay, so I can do this. And then just draw around it. So how do you like Canada so far? We're really enjoying it. You guys came in the summer, so now you yeah. have a little bit of winter? Yes. Yeah. We're having all the four seasons. Yeah? Yeah, but we're doing okay. Like, um, we're very comfortable and warm. Mm -hmm. And we're from Sao Paulo, so it's not so, so warm. It, it, Cheer. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. So we do get some cold temperatures. Uh -huh. Like in the winter, you can get like four, four, two degrees during the night. Okay. And one thing that we noticed is that houses are not prepared for that. So in Sao Paulo. Yeah. So definitely we would go to uh, 15 degrees and you would be freezing in your own house. Right. And here in Canada, we go to minus 10 and we are super okay in our house. So, this is pretty amazing, oh. I would say. And also the... Yeah. So... You all have... No, I need to fold it in half and you can cut it. Okay. And it's better to cut fabric, let it lie flat on the uh, table. So it doesn't move. So you hold it like this and then you cut around it. Okay. And yeah, it's this one. Yeah. Here, here's a scissor. It's easier. What? You were just for me? Yeah. Okay, well. So this wine is actually very good with um, light fruit. So if you have some uh, pear, and I have, uh, I forgot what these pear call. You know what they are? Oh. Uh, neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> My pattern is not so straight. <laughs> <laughs> and you haven't even been training yet. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's much more difficult than it seems. Okay, because you chose a difficult fabric and I didn't say so. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Okay, so there's a little trick if you want to know. Uh -huh. You're gonna use heavy object to weight it down. Okay. Right? Uh huh. Second of all, you take your pattern and you just place it on here. Mm -hmm. And consider it's a simple pattern because it's just a straight line, just use a ruler and nothing move. So you flatten everything down and just Now this is not quite fair because I actually have almost over 25 years of experience doing this. <laughs> right? So Come on, it's just a straight line. <laughs> yep, just a straight line. <laughs> it's not gonna give me that advan that much of advantage. Right? So now you actually have a straight pattern. Mm -hmm. Because you have to line it a a among the edge. If not, when you fold it, it it doesn't fold properly. So fabric have two edges along the edge here and along here. So when you cut you have to align to that. If not when you fold it, if you do a diagonal, it's called a bias cut, which it make the pattern fold a little bit more differently. And since we're making the bow tie, we wanted to make sure it have a cross fold. It just doesn't have like one up and one down. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna right? be really, it's gonna be really awkward. So I will have to do a lot of focus as well. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do another, get another piece. So forget about this one. <laughs> 
So what you want to do I'm is gonna you're going to fold it. fold it in half. Right, so along the edge here, if you see that line that we just draw, and then you just... Um, so it's this one. It's this one. So, so you fold along that edge, like so. Right? Mm -hmm. And then you have to cut it. So you want me to do it or you want to do it? Gonna be so, it's gonna be so messed up. It's okay. Well, that's the whole point because I make everything look very easy. <laughs> so you want to make sure the fabric is flat on the floor. Okay. Right? The fabric is flat on the floor. So you weight it down. In this case, we use two hands. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like this? Yep. Yep, other way. And then... Now you have to hold the side while you cut it up. So you remember what line it is? We have too many line here. Uh -huh, it's here. Alright, it's this one. So up until here. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, that's pretty good. So fold it in half, Alejandro. And then you can cut it. Do we just have to work? <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> so if you guys want to leave any comment or ask any question, just leave um put in the comment and we uh, we try to answer it. It doesn't have to be exact, by the way, because we're gonna sew around it, right? So okay. as long as you're able to cut it, it's That's fine. <laughs> he may get fired soon. <laughs> I cannot even cut like an, an, a non straight line. It's not. It's not possible. It's not being possible. What do you What do you find difficulty here? Uh, I'm cutting with my <laughs> left hand, and I'm used to okay, using okay. scissors with the right hand. So make it flatter. If not, you're gonna make it crooked. Okay. So, so that's a good here. Answer. There you go. Keep going. Yeah. Turn here. Okay, let's mark. Okay, now from here. Okay. All right. So now all hands turn. So what you have is a rectangle. Is it? Why do you shoot have as a rectangle? <laughs> Let's put it that way. It's okay, we can fix this. So that's why we're doing like handcraft stuff. Mm -hmm. Right? So how are you doing now, Hanjo? I'm um, trying to do it. So this silk is actually one of the hardest material to work with. So let's wait it down. So you can so use a pair of. Oh! Actually, you can better. cheat. Give me one sec. So, if you find it too difficult to cut straight, we use pin. So, you want a pin around the edges to keep everything together. And then you can cut, cut it. So, make sure because this is silk, it makes hole, right? So, you want to pin it in the area that you sew and it doesn't show. So, you have to actually take. Remember all this when you um, doing all this beforehand. Otherwise, it will have hole on the fabric and it may not look very well. So we just pin before. All right. So cut in here and then around. Chili. <laughs> Cheers. I could cut. I could cut kind of a rect rectangle. Mm -hmm. So what else have you liked about Canada so far? Um, everything like the organization, uh, the the landscape. I would say we come from São Paulo, which is pretty polluted, so the air here is much more clear. Okay. So um, 
And what else is it like about here? Uh, the people. People are very nice yeah. and very friendly. The sunrise. The sunrise is beautiful. beautiful. Okay, how's it different? Well. I mean, you got next to well, you actually just you see it not next to the water. No, we're not next to the water, but we have like we live on uh, we live on top on the top floor of a building. Yeah. But around us, it's all houses, so we get like a beautiful landscape. A beautiful landscape, and it's like we can see with a, a uh, within sure. a great distance. Cheers. Yeah. And uh, the sunsets and the sunrises are really beautiful. Let's see what. So the whole idea for the show is just um, I'm one of those people who do crap a lot of handmade stuff, and people mm -hmm. always love to want to give them some. Doesn't it look like? This is gonna take a lot of sewing to correct. It's okay. We can fix that. It, it's fine. <laughs> so, so you see. If you're not careful, you make a little pull on the fabric. Now, when this happens, you can actually fix it by pin where the end of it. You see, it stop here where it's pulling. If you look at closely, this is where it's pulling. So you just kind of pin it and then just ease it down, and then correct it. You correct it. But if you pull on it, you're gonna have a line run across that ruin the whole fabric. Okay. okay, so since um, Alejandro and Luis are using very soft material, we need a backing, which is called a fusion or interfacing, to keep it uh, nice and sharp. So if you yeah. look at my color, there are actually four layers of fabric under here, just not the top and the bottom. So they're an inch layer, so make it keep, keep it uh, keep its shape. Okay. So we have a white cotton there. So you guys gonna cut it the same thing. Same pattern. So the same pattern. And then we're gonna put it underneath. So this is gonna be easier because it look it's kinda like paper. Okay. It's um <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> so what you what, what you can do is you can also pre-fold it and make it crisp. So, and it's actually quite simple. So you can cut one long straight. And you can use this because we're gonna sew here. So okay. So therefore, you fold it and you fold it again. And then you cut so, it. So so we don't have this, right? So you wanna fold on that side. And then just make it one long thing, and then mm -hmm. you just cut it and then divide it into okay. two. Okay. So let's do it. You want? It doesn't matter the. No, it has to be this yeah, width. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> but one folding or two folding? Yeah, because you have this here. Oh, okay. Right. So make sure you have the, the correct size. Okay, it's this yeah. one. Both, both in. Both in? Yeah. Okay. to draw it yes you do or you, you don't have to because okay. what you can do is you can start cutting okay. to follow this line okay don't cut on the line though okay so follow so, our hand can do it okay. I'll, I'll hold it you start cutting okay. and you start cutting here Maybe long enough. 
So that's oh. one. So you cut one across. Shut the finger. Okay, I have two more fingers. <laughs> 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 but we need to cut it a little bit more. Okay. Ta da! So that looked most. <coughs> uh oh. <coughs> no? You know we make a mistake. Why? Why? Because we don't have enough seam allowed to sew on this side. Oh god. <laughs> it's okay. We do it again? Uh. Let me see. First of all, improvise everything. That's fine. Let's <laughs> 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 say we improvise everything. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, we want a small bow tie, right? So okay. this would be fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what you're going to do is, if you have a soft fabric like silk, you're gonna place it on the inside, right? And what you're gonna do is, you have two choices. When if you do this has a whole couture way, which is the fine, the handmade way of making clothes, which is you know when you sell buy a dress for ten thousand dollar to two hundred thousand dollar, everything is done by hand. Okay. Um, so you have to actually sew on the edges all around with this, so to keep it in place before we actually start making anything so what you're gonna do is we need a drink first though <laughs> cheers. Cheers. It's, gonna, it's gonna be a while <laughs> so pick a needle that's a pin so the needle have a pummel dread on it so I have one pre-thread here you can use. And the other one is that. Yep. And we're just gonna need some thread. Uh-huh. So here you go. <laughs> and at this moment, I would give it back to her so she could tie the knot here because I have no idea how to do it. All right, all right. So if you want to tie the knot, press... know, is it necessary? Uh, actually, you don't need to tie a knot. Okay. Um, let me get a. So I'm gonna do it in. So ideally, you want to have the same color thread or a darker thread than your fabric mm -hmm. and if you after you cut you wet the end and it become more stiffer the uh, the thread and you it's easily go through them now we're using a very big needle um, but if you're using a very fine fabric it you also need to get a very very fine needle so it's okay, you guys can use those, but if you look at these, I should have a very skinny, skinny, skinny needle here. So, oh. It's in the flat box, Alejandro. At the bottom here. Wow, it's dangerous. Box. Oh, maybe in the other box. This one? Yeah. So, I have different type needle for different type of things. So, you have
Oh yeah. So you have different type here. So the very fine one you can use it for beading, and this one you can use it for small stitches. So they come in different sizes, mm -hmm. and then you have the one for beading, which is very long, and the tr the hole is so small that it's very difficult to um to thread through, which are these. So if you look at this hole. Oh my. Uh -huh. <laughs> so here you go. <laughs> so they're very, very small. All right. So if you want to knot the hole, so since we took base and we don't want double thread, right? So we want uh -huh. single thread. So what you do is you wet your finger, you take the edge, roll it, and then you kind of roll the two on top of each other. And then you make it into a little knot. So basically, you just have to make a knot. No. <laughs> you roll, and then you roll. Single thread, not double. What's uh -huh. So you have two thread there, right? Uh huh. Ah, it takes just one thread to and do that. Yeah. It's like here. Yeah. yeah, you can do that as well. Yeah, huh? so you want to cut up the end. So you want the least amount of thread at the bottom as possible. Like you here? Yeah, so j before the knot, right? Yeah. Cheers. Ah. No. <laughs> but I drink anyway. So. <laughs> okay, one more time. Got it? I got a knot, but that's fine. Nobody gonna see this anyway. Okay. So what you're gonna do is, because it's fabric, you can't really pick it up, and so you have to sew around the edge. Uh huh. All around. You have to come up. So in case you're wondering, this is cotton and it pre-starched it. So um, normally you you can use interfacing, but uh, we're using cotton and starch. So it have actually a crispy starch on this thing. Mm -hmm. So now you have to sew around the edge of it, all around. Okay. So you got to pick the more difficult project. <laughs> and uh. Double thread here, okay? Uh, yeah, it's fine, but you can just do them with single thread because you're gonna have to sew on top of it. Okay, how do I, uh, It's okay. I have no idea how to do that. So, it. if you pre-double thread this, and then if you notice you just need a single one, you can just cut one up. No, you only sew a single one. Yeah? yeah? How do I do now? There you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so sew around it. Okay. So you say, <laughs> so here you say you say you say as it was like now. Yeah. So walk. you want to base it very quickly. So if you watch me, so in, down, and then you just that. Okay. So the thick the the needle the harder to to do it to do it mm. right. Okay. So if you're wondering what that means, you're gonna do them close. You just take this, put it in, and then you just kind of like do them in and out like so. Right, but you're gonna make it smaller. I'm just making it big so you can see them, right? Cheers. Cheers. To baby.
So while they do, doing that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close both ends of my ball tie. So I'm gonna sew along this edge and I'm gonna sew along this edge. So we're gonna close up two sides of the and leave one end open. So as we discussed earlier, we have one half an inch has a seam allowance. So that's where you're gonna sew. If you don't know how to gate this, I can also suggest you can just draw a line, half an inch, like so, and then you can sew along that line. But I can pretty, I've been, I've been doing this for a long time, so I can just gonna freehand it. Now, for this particular job, because this is gonna affect your finished product, I'm gonna double thread it. So how is the transportation here compared to um, Sao Paulo? The what? The transportation in Canada. Oh, transportation is really good. Sao Paulo has a pretty neat transportation system. Yeah. And it's pretty clean, pretty organized. And, but you can get like, but if you're outside the railways, which would be the trains and the subway, you can get stuck in traffic for like a long time. Uh, so what are you talking about? Like half an hour, an hour? I'm talking about one hour and a half to two hours to go about six kilometers. And here, oh, wow. yeah. And here we can go about like it's mo it's less traffic, uh, in this sense because we have like twenty kilometers in one hour in this. Yeah, all around. So. <laughs> and the same amount. Of <laughs> <laughs> in the same amount of time right we do have to account for that there are 10 million people 10 million inhabitants in Sao Paulo and Toronto has like five so, so we have one fifth the yeah. population yes but uh, it's it's pretty good the applications they use for the public transit are good too so they do work oh my god I have another knot. <laughs> I was able to do that. I tied a knot in my thread. Okay, I'll have to fix that later. So, I cut myself with the needle. And there are a little trick if you want. Um, so you need to actually band it that, right? But if I put bandit on, it's gonna be hard for my finger to use. Mm -hmm. So there's I discover a, there's a trick for that. This thing called liquid bandaid. Liquid bandaid. Yeah. And all you have to do is just pretty much seal your cut and it protects their wound and it basically is a band-aid without the band-aid okay huh. it smells like nail polish it i think i have no idea it could be okay <laughs> we're progressing we're progressing oh my god i can't believe i'm finished right. i'm finishing my first edge sure i'm gonna be drinking more than they do yeah <laughs> <laughs> didn't you notice? <laughs> you didn't know that from the beginning, like I did. <laughs> Come on, guy, I'm finishing. <laughs> and you didn't know that from the beginning, like I did. Uh, I totally did that. Okay, so. So that's why I say I'm gonna do like a few more before you guys finish your. Yeah. Which is fine, right? It's fair, it's fair. <laughs> <laughs> like, you have 25 years, I have 25 minutes, so... So, the other thing is, if you want to pick a thick fabric, the only difficulty is that it's heavier, right? So, since it's heavier, it's gonna be harder to thread the thread through. But if you sew them by machine, which um, 
if you know how to use them, it's gonna be easy. But since we're gonna do everything by hand, and faster. Now I'm going to my second edge. So if you watch me, I'm sounding all the way to the end, right? So I'm gonna go Should all go the way down. to the end. Hmm? Mm -hmm. We're not there yet. You have to finish your first. You have to sew around first. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 I'll hand her like, oh, I need to do that. <laughs> You're not there yet, sweetie. <laughs> yeah. So I imagine when when we were assembling the IKEA furniture, he would like <laughs> jump forward and. <laughs> I want to see how it's gonna look like. I said no. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to fold the fabric around the edge so it doesn't fray, right? So when you open them, it doesn't. And then you're gonna do it one more time, and this time when the thread go through, you're gonna spun the thread on top of it, so basically you're making a knot within the fabric and you hold it and then you secure so you're going to cut this off and then I'm going to, if you watch it's so around the edge, so I'm going to cut up the corner here very close to the edge and then you want to turn it inside out. Don't worry, you're not there yet. <laughs> so you want to cut this corner off as well. And then... And I still have more, to... No, my, 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 need more thread? start from here okay so you don't um, so make sure by the time you finish it's flat okay. Wait. so I'm gonna turn it inside out I'm using a pair of scissors to push the fabric now you have to be careful you can also use a leather opener or a pen without the tip so you don't cut right into what is you trying to have it open and you see it come a little bundle here you want to avoid that so how you do them you're gonna roll it in so this is a heavy fabric the e the lighter fabric like Alejandro and Luis have it gonna be much easier so this is harder for this part so every part that we do no matter fa fabric you choose they're gonna be a difficulty area so you see, if it bundled like this, you can really pull it out. So you have to actually ease everything in slowly. So you basically unfold it the inside out. Basically what you have is <laughs> I'm still swimming, sorry. I'm still on step one. So 
there you go. So all I have to do now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do another edge all around by half. And that was pretty, as I'm doing that, I also gonna fold in the seam around here. So basically you're gonna close up the whole bow tie. Now, before we do that, is this too mm -hmm. long, too short? What do you think? Hmm? Too, too long. long. Too long? Yeah. So we can cut it up. So how about this much? It's better now. Yeah, yeah it's, nice. it's better now. Okay, so see how we can do that? Chop it up. Well, mine is a little bit like work in progress. It's a little bit oh like my God. not so straight. <laughs> What the body had to ask <laughs> What? Why is it at a, a crooked angle? <laughs> Why is it one at the bottom, one on the top? <laughs> I have no idea. When I first positioned them, they were so correct. Oh, come on. Um. No, we can't. <laughs> we have to start. Oh, we have to start again. Okay. So. <laughs> There's an easy way to start again. What's good is we're gonna keep at the edge, which you're gonna cut. Okay. And then we're gonna put that out. So, yeah. if you want, uh -huh. flat everything down, and then use the pen to pin it down. Okay. And then you see. And so the fabric doesn't move, right? It's okay, these are the common rookie mistake. <laughs> so as you see, you have the seam here, you can just follow these two a bit easier. Uh -huh. So what you want to do is, for the, for the soft fabric, uh -huh. which will actually look quite nice when it's finished, but it's harder to do. You can do this. So you see? You pin it all around. And then you should sew down the edge. Okay. So I almost finished with mine. I just have to finish the edging of it. And what I'm thinking is I'm going to do a gold edging, so it's going to be a little bit more nice with the blue. So, and make sure you have enough thread to go all the way around, right? I'm just going to touch, I'm not sure you want to touch the computer, so just wake it up. Yep. So, this is not enough, so I'm gonna throw it away. And we need a wine refill. Are you guys drinking? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we need a wine refill yeah. means that you're done. And, and it's like, we need a wine refill. It's like, we've been done and we're not yet. So this wine was, how much was this? You remember? 10.89. This one is 10.89. I don't remember what it was. So this is the client tasting. <laughs> no, you, you do have to finish here first. Yeah. Okay. So we will open it when it's open. So I'm gonna do a taste first. So it, you want to make sure you... Oh, actually it's quite nice. It has a nice aroma to it. So you want to push the wine around your mouth and underneath and on the tip of the tongue so you get the full taste. It's a little bit drier. Um, this actually would taste good with a little nut. Yeah, the nut actually enhances the wine. True. Are you guys drinking? We are. Uh, 
悔しいんですよね、思いが。Now, this is quite an easy project because <laughs> the reason it's easy is even you make a mistake, you can still work around it. <laughs> you don't have to start it over. Okay. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Let me rephrase that. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. I hope the next five days. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a gold thread on top of the blue. Now this is important to make it perfectly straight because this is gonna show. And since I'm I'm doing this as a decorative decorated um, stitch, and usually I would do them with the embroidery thread, but I forgot to take out the. Embroidery dress, so I'm just gonna do four times four thread instead of double. I'm doing four times, and the little trick is when you thread the needle, you want it to put it a, again a white background so it's easier to go through the hole. So as you I see, see, so that I have four different thread. So is it flat? Yes, I think so. All right. It's so that's good. Me. So now <laughs> <laughs> you want to cut. So cut away. So cut this off. Not yes. too close. Not too close because you don't like want to. It? Yeah. So you're gonna fold it in half and then you do what I do. So you're gonna fold it in half. Uh huh. Yeah. And then you just sew along the three, two edge. Now I'm gonna hide the stitches on the inside. Oh, so before I do that, I want to make sure I close this edge off because I'm actually doing the top stitches. So the top stitch is gonna be about one eight. Or a quarter of an inch on the inside of the bow tie. To be able to do that, the edge has to be closed. So I'm going to use another needle. I'm finishing a second edge. I think I'm going to find the to close the. So the fabric flat. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see it now. Oh my god! It looks pretty good. Yes. <laughs> But my my. Oh, so you need more thread. Yeah, I got stuck. My thread got stuck. It's so you need to no. You still need more anyway. Uh huh. So, okay, so you cut it up there and just start another one. Okay. I'm really far from the end, but okay, let's go. <laughs> but first, I need some motivation. Cheer! <laughs> I I need more. Yeah, you need, need more. 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 Yeah. So tell me what you think of the wine. Mm, this is good. It's really aromatic. It's much more like um, I would say green green berries. This is much more acidic than the other one. Yeah. Yeah. It's like have a little nut with it. And it it enhances the flavor. Yeah. I 
So what are some of the differences you see here in Canada compared to Brazil? Like what did like what was your first kind of like surprise? Uh, first surprise was when we went to the supermarket because we happened to visit a metro flagship store first. Oh, no, that's true. I forgot yeah. about that. <laughs> when we were coming, <laughs> what you did? What, what? We went to the metro. Remember that first metro at Bay and Eglinton, and uh, uh, and we went to the and we were like before coming here, we were watching a bunch of YouTube videos and people would say, "Oh my God, you're gonna have to adapt your uh, eating habits because food is very different." Well, first of all, we don't eat uh, traditional Brazilian food, but whatever. And then, so what is the traditional Brazilian? Food? It's rice, beans, uh, you normally would have some eggs or some salad and uh, a steak, meat, basically. So it's quite heavy for the stomach. Yeah. To digest anyway. And, but we, we, don't, eat, we don't usually eat that. Normally we eat a lot of pasta and um, uh, coat cuts and also like vegetables, lots of vegetables, potatoes. So more Italian. Yeah, much more Italian. Uh, I've, I've lived in Italy for some time, so it has an influence. But, and then everybody said, well, but we, we were used to it, like living in Brazil, we were used to eating a lot of fruit and a lot of fresh stuff, some leaves and some greens. And everybody was saying, oh my God, there are no fresh fruits in Canada and stuff like that. And uh, the YouTube video, like I used to watch, follow some YouTubers, and they all said the same things, like, "Oh, we have to adapt and stuff like that." Such so they know. So basically, your impression that what we don't have any fresh vegetable. Yeah. Uh, fruit. That was the, like the, the 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 assumption. But when we got to the metro store, and like not only all of the fresh fruit we were used to having were present, but they were like beautifully presented. And it compared was like, to not it like no not just that it's like it was like we were expecting to find no fresh stuff and not only you find fresh stuff but it's like it's not just tossed away like it's very well organized in a pyramid and like it's beautifully present so that was the first impression the second impression that everybody was saying that uh in north america in general because i have i had a, a couple of friends like a friend of mine and they were moving to New York City and she was very worried about that that there are no pressure cookers in uh, North America that was another myth and pressure then, cooker yeah so is this one of your main dish to use the pressure cooker the beans normally when you cook beans you use a pressure cooker so you can do it faster but like it's not uh, uh, it's not mandatory my mother for example she cooks beans uh, without pressure cookers so she, yeah, I never cook them with pressure cooker. Yeah, it takes longer. Like if you don't do it with pressure, like with a pressure cooker, you can do in four or five minutes. You can have your beans ready. Yeah. And without a pressure cooker, it's gonna take like two hours. Yeah. Two to three hours. So they said, well, there are no pressure cookers in uh, in Canada and in North America in general, because they included the United States in that. And then. We were out and about at Canadian Tire and we were checking like kitchen stuffs and then uh, coffee uh, coffee machines and stuff like that and uh, rice cookers and then guess what we found? The pressure cooker. An electric pressure cooker. 
in Canada. Like, I almost called my friend in New York City to say, hey, friend. <laughs> Yeah. You can come. You can come. You can come up north to Toronto. <laughs> you can come up north to Toronto and buy a pressure cooker. Don't worry. You're gonna be fine. Or I can I can drop by and take one for you. So don't worry. Oh my worry. god, that's funny. And but it's uh, it, it's funny. And then <laughs> so all these like crazy meat uh, myths that you have about Canada. Yeah. And like everybody was worried about one thing that uh, when we told people we're moving to Canada, generally people asked uh, two things. And the first thing, the first thing was like, is it, isn't it too cold there? And, but as I told you in the beginning, uh, everything here is prepared for that. So we feel very comfortable. So we don't freeze while we are waiting for the bus. We are home like... We are comfortable at home. We are at minus ten now, and like I'm, I'm in short sleeves and I'm not shaking. Yeah. So, and the second thing, like, is are you excited? So the answer was, <laughs> yes and yes, <laughs> basically. Because <laughs> one thing we found in Toronto that it's very similar to São Paulo and to Brazil in general is that. Toronto has lots of immigrants and Brazil, so has Brazil. Oh, really? Yeah, Brazil is a little bit more mature and in, uh, in a way that, for example, not everybody knows that, but the biggest Japanese colony outside Japan is in Brazil. I was really surprised when you told me that. Yes, so they are a little bit like an, uh, Japanese food, for example, when we went, this is one thing people said, oh, the Japanese food is very different from what you're used to. Well, not from what we were used to in Sao Paulo, because it's pretty uh, Part there is avocado equal. here a lot. Oh, yeah, well, there are <laughs> some substitute avocados. <laughs> they, 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 they substitute some things like in, Sao Paulo, in Brazil, you use cucumber, cucumber for almost all the dishes of the Japanese cucumber? sushi. Yeah, of the Japanese sushi and stuff like that. Okay. And you don't have this here, but you do have like avocado. Every everywhere we would have cucumber in Brazil, you have avocado in Canada. So it's it's a little adaptation, I would say. But um, the Japanese food is pretty similar, and Brazil is very mature uh, in a way that you don't see many people that speak the language because they are generation four or five. Yeah, three. Like I was. I, I'm from uh, Arab heritage. Oh, you can You don't close it. Yeah, um, but I'm so proud of me. Look nice, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to turn it inside out. Yeah, uh, I don't inside. think about that. <laughs> oh, where's my condom? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh my God. I'm so proud. And I'm enjoying to do that. I, just, I think it's so relaxing to do that. It is very relaxing. Yeah, it, like, you, it has you doing still, them. Uh, <laughs> okay, what do I do now? I got like my thread. You have wasn't to finish enough. it. <laughs> okay, but my thread wasn't enough. Do so I you have to need more. Do you I cut it here? Back. Yeah, cut it there uh -huh. and then sew it back from there. But how can I do that? There's a trick for that. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So you just cut up the thread as well. Okay. So now, you want to sew it to the end, and make sure you make a knot at the end. So it, when you turn it inside out, so sew it from there, and mm -hmm. like a little bit farther down, and then go up. And like, uh, in, in like Canada, for example, you have a lot of mixtures, so there are a lot of uh, cultures. Hang on a second. So I'm gonna uh -huh. do the top stitch. So I'm gonna hide the little knot that we made on the inside of the seam so you don't see them. So I'm gonna go on the inside of the fabric and then gonna go to the edge. Um, we need to touch the computer seam. Oh. Yeah. I, I'm the guy for that. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So go ahead. <clears throat> and uh, as they're generation four, five, three, like I'm generation 
three, I'm from Arab heritage. Uh, we, many people, they don't speak the former language, let would say. So you will see many Asian people, many African, uh, Arab, uh, all together, but they all speak Portuguese. Because they don't take, like, their great-grandparents, grandparents used to so speak. So they kind of all become um, integrated. Yes. So they don't have their, they don't keep their own languages? Uh, some, some do. Not that much. Not, but not as much. Because uh, I see with kids here, for example, uh, I have some, uh, I met some Brazilians who have kids. And normally, if you don't have relatives who speak Portuguese, the kids will only stick to English. Because it's the language they use at school. Okay. So that's what they need to socialize. And uh, it happens not, it's not only in Canada, like, uh, I know a lot of people who live abroad, so they, when they have kids, it's normally that. If you don't interact with your... Culture. Not yeah, culture, yeah. it's like, if you don't interact with your relatives who don't speak English, or if your relatives speak English, or the language you speak, yeah, uh, you normally don't learn the other language. Okay. And now? So now make sure you make a knot at the end. So hang on, I can show you. So to make a knot at the end, you go all the way to the end. So from here, cross over, and then you're gonna thread it in, like so. And then you're gonna hook it, and then you have a knot. And you're gonna do it one more time. So this way, it doesn't undo when you cross it over. You can cut it all the way to the end. Oh. And about the safety thing, it's also a big difference too, right? You don't have to always have to look over your shoulder all the time when you're walking down the street at night. Uh, no. Yeah. It's, it's much more cal calmer, I would say, here. <laughs> so you have to pull it inside out. Yeah. So you want to use the, this? According to yeah. Adam, this should be easy for you. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna do this in, okay. and then you just push it through. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm almost in the end. Okay. And then I have to... Oh, look nice. Whoa, how do I tie the knot again? Oh, you ran off track? No, 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 I'm, I'm done. Oh, you don't really need to for this, because you have to sew like that. Oh, ah, okay. So no knots now. Okay, I can yeah, just cut it. Yeah. So what you can do now is if you want, you can pin uh -huh. this together and then just sew where you sew. Okay. Tip a little bit inside the thread. So the reason you're doing that is to keep the fabric stay where they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a good make garment, there are a lot of under construction that most of us don't realize. And then because we get away from that a lot more, so there are a lot of fast uh, clothing companies like H&M, Zara, or all that stuff. So the garment get a lot of corner cut. Okay. A little bit too long, right? So we yeah. decided to cut a little bit. So you want to cut this much off, about an inch from the edge. Yeah. Or, you know what? Do because if you cut it, it's gonna spray. So just kind of, yeah, cut an inch up and then just fold it in quickly. And you want to thread where the edge is, yeah. Now I have to sew it together. So next week, if you're interested, I'm, I'm gonna do a. Um, 1930 style uh, head pieces for party uh, dresses. So we're gonna do a head piece. Cheer. Cheer. A head piece. 
hair piece. It's like a head or a ribbon. Or yeah, you know, like the 1930s style, they have a little mesh mm -hmm. on top and a little big flower here. Mm -hmm. So we're making that next week. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah. Um, so you want now to sew it all the way around the edge like I'm doing. So you need a red thread. So you I have see. there. Yeah. So you just want to change the needle. Uh, yeah. So you make sure you have it up. And you sew it right on the edge for you. So okay. I'm I'm a little bit farther in because I want to make a decorated. But for you, you want to do right at the edge. Okay. Yeah. All around. All around. But make sure at the open end, you want to fold in the, the excess inside. And Tuck it in. to cut it. I need more trash. And this valuable piece I'll be selling for one hundred dollars. Why? <laughs> How exciting! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna eBay it off. <laughs> Put in your bed. <laughs> Louis sold it for a hundred dollar. <laughs> well, you see my. my my work, my artwork. <laughs> it's high. <laughs> yeah. Not too much because you need a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's only that much you put it in. Really? Yeah. What's... Only a quarter of an inch or half an inch. I think it's is it enough? <laughs> Not an inch. <laughs> oh, I don't know. A quarter of an inch. Well, I have no idea what that is, but <laughs> I think it is a quarter there. of an <laughs> inch. It this much. Okay. Okay, and make sure it's straight. Okay, now you're asking too much. Yeah. Well, you want to wear this or not? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I broke it, so I'm just gonna redo it and hide the thread on the inside. And I'm start exactly where it ends. You see, we put it right inside the seam. And tuck everything in. And continue. Cinderella did that so much easily. You want your glass slipper? Slipper? No, no, no. So if you see the little edge all around and you see like a high end made suit that have the hand stitch with now they actually use machine to do imitation but um, this we just gonna do them by hand and make sure the seam is all folded all the way out too so it's nice and flat when you sew them. So I'm almost done with mine. I'm just gonna do them quickly. It's very therapeutic as you 
can see if you just practice in this. And if you just want to try it at home, it's actually quite relaxing. So after a while, when you, because it just basically is a straight pattern that you do. It's actually it's a form of meditation if you want to practice and have a stressful day and just go home and make something. Uh, yeah. It's actually nice. There are a lot of studies show that um, when you do things with your hand, you actually feel a natural connection with um, your present. So instead of distracting from all that you're thinking, because overthinking it actually can change your mood, usually to the worst. And if you just th stop thinking and just focus on the now, it's um, just realize how there's not a lot that um, can possibly worry you. Okay, I got to the end. How can I tie that on? You saw all around? Yeah. No, no, I ha I left this open. Okay. So... Yeah, there's a lot of... Thing happening. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's only... It's like... It's I need a drink for this. <laughs> <laughs> Treads that need to be cut. Just that. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so now you can just leave, um, make a knot at the end. Okay, how do I so make a knot? So another way to make a knot is, this is the zip. You put a needle through, no, put a needle where the end is, right? And then you sponge one, two, three, and then you pass it through exactly where you want it. And then you hold it, you hold the thread, Mm -hmm. Right, you hold it there. You hold it down, and then it's done. Everything not up. Okay. So you cut everything off and then flip it through. And what about like? Other thing that you found about Canada, so you were surprised. What What the other thing that you were telling me when you first um, in the summer? Oops. Oh, your magic jacket. I oh, the magic jacket. Yeah. Because <laughs> now you are using that. Yeah. <laughs> now, normally in Brazil, it doesn't. Uh, you don't use feather. You don't use down feather normally in clothes so basically you have like leather you have wool you have um, what else cotton okay but you don't have like uh down and uh we found like and normally when you travel abroad to cold countries you normally take like five six layers of clothing that not necessarily are necessary because you have the magic that jacket, which is down feather, that can that provides you a thin layer that is really warm. So, so if you if you want to know about feather, so feather the base of the feather <laughs> from uh, the goose or the the yeah initially from a goose. So the <coughs> upper uh, part of the feather, which you see here, I can tell you what the down is. You know what the down is? Yeah, it's the, the feather, because you have like four types of feather. One is for stability, one's for uh, lifting up and uh, navigating, and one's for warming. And the down feather is the one for warming. So that's why colds are made about. Not quite. No? You, like, you... Well, I need you to... have right. I need to call Rom and tell them they're wrong. <laughs> well, they I'm, need to correct the... I work in, like, um high-end linen and we sell like high high-end duvet and stuff like that so uh -huh. so this is a feather okay uh -huh. so like louis said you have the one on the wing which is the very big heavy one and then you have the little feather on around on top of the body mm -hmm. down it these little thing here this little feather if you look at the game the black so these are the fuzzy little thing. Yeah. Okay. So this is the down feather. It at the base of the, it a fat little feather underneath. It a layer, right next to the skin, and it have all these little thing here, which trap the air and the moisture right on the inside. So this is the 
this here when you put it in the duvet cover which um you can use or in this case he's talking about um a jacket and clothing it actually has an insulation so it keeps the warm air and it recirculated on the inside that's why it's warm and it's really thin and it's very lightweight uh, because this is very uh, light and you can actually squeeze it down because as you see it puffed so you can make it big or you can make it small and you can actually it's um it's very thin and light and it's easy to travel and it's also easy to wear as well and like it for and for countries that are not so cold that's perfect because you can have like almost nothing and yeah really protect you from the the weather yeah so in Canada, most of the time we um we know for doing layer of clothing. Layer of clothing is basically you have a breathable cloth. Uh, the first layer, if you want to go into a warm cli um in a cold climate, it be something is breathable. So you want to have like either cotton or wool to have your skin uh breathable, and then the second layer is you want to have it um either warm, so you can do a uh, down or that could be the second or the outer layer and then you can have a, another layer which is water resistant which is your coat which is um, protected against the wind, the water and the element so we can usually do three, four layer and so the first layer is important because your skin want to be breathable and you don't want to have chemical go into your skin so you want to use the most natural material if possible yeah this was also surprising because I thought Canada would have like the most synthetic uh, materials for warm clothing and then I found out it's just like fe duck feather. <laughs> the secret of it all is like duck feather. It's actually not duck, it's a uh, goose. So the goose high feather. end, fe um, goose high feather. end down. So the down actually have different quality. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, now I understand why some clothes co cost like $700 and other cost yeah. like 70 So like you can buy a down, um, down duvet, which is a blanket, what we call a du duvet in Canada. It can cost up to like $1,000. Uh, Depending on the quality of your down. Yeah. Cheer. Cheers. <laughs> Okay, so how are you guys doing? I'm, pretty I'm much trying done to with mine. I'm trying to fold it, but it's so I'm gonna show you guys finish how to tie a knot, right? So it looks like so, and the most important thing you want to make sure for this project is you have the pointy end because the all the other one is adjustable. So make sure the end here is nice and straight. <laughs> Nice and straight to me. <laughs> looks very so nice. So make sure it looks nice. Looks very nice to me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna hide the little finishing at the inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through right on the edge. I'm gonna pass my needle through on the inside. I'm gonna pass it out and then I'm gonna do it a few times like so so basically you're making a knot of that little area and make sure the thread doesn't show and then I'm just gonna cut all the way to the edge of it and then we're gonna cut up all that excess thread that's showing anywhere what you have is a, just a rectangle piece and then we're gonna do this and you have a bow tie mm. so this I think is still a little bit big no yeah but it's good no, it's cool it's okay well my threading was so good that it broke But I think I'll try the other way around because it's okay. So 
open that up. Uh huh. Pass it through. Oh, there's another trick. There are a lot of trick in sewing if you want. Okay. So we can use a pin. A pin. Safety pin. That the edge. So, in this case, Louise. He accidentally opened both ends. <laughs> I was trying to I was trying to flip it. <laughs> so what you can do is to make a little string. Usually this is how we do them. You put a safety pin. You turn the safety pin in. Uh huh. And then you use the safety pin to push it through. <laughs> so yeah. sounds so much easier now. So we can use one of my broken threads. Well, we need a long needle, but it's okay. We don't really need it. I can just do it like this. So okay, well, here this. So and then you can just use the safety pin. Uh huh. Push, hold, and push hold. Okay. Pull and then push. Push the safety. You see the safety pin here? Push and then pull out. Okay. So now I'm gonna finish up the bow tie. How you doing, Alejandro? You almost uh, finished. Yeah. Cheers. 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 You see, that's why some of us are engineers, while others are just managers. <laughs> <laughs> He's the engineer. So for the finishing look of the bow tie, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna also have another strap and then we're gonna make a thing to cover this area up. But we might want to make sure the bow tie is actually nice and have a nice crease to it. So I'm gonna do a thread first with the same color or darker. Now this time you actually need the string of the thread. So we're gonna do double. And you really, we got everything is black around here. It's kind of hard to see, so I'm gonna need to put a, a white thing. And then to do the thread. Not that at the end, because this area is not gonna be seen, but the ball gonna look, determine how your ball gonna look like. So what we determine it is the ball gonna have one fall in. And fall out like so. So therefore, you want to pass. Make sure this is right at the center, right? So we pass in the needle right on the center, and make sure the pleat is like so. So I'm gonna pass the needle right in the middle of all this fall. And since the right thick, I'm just gonna press it down from the base and pull it out. And then I'm gonna wrap my thread around it to twine. And we have a bow tie. Yay! We have it. Yay. <laughs> and then you just need to tie it up. So we're gonna Love do. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> cheers. We have a bow tie. <laughs> we have a bow tie, well, it's not mine, sure. <laughs> But you see, well, I think I, I got it too thin. <laughs> it's okay. It's gonna be like a flat bow tie. It's a little bit... Yeah, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> well, you told me, sew it more inside. I did it. So that's... <laughs> but not that much. You like... You like, you can't...
Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> it's okay, fine. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> we need so. a. We need to make appropriate <laughs> level. Okay. It's too too long. So. So actually, this would be fine. Right? So you want to make sure, so we don't want the bow tie about this much. Okay. What do you think? So this should be fine. Mm -hmm. it, it actually look cute like that. So you want to close the edge. How do you close the edge? You sew it again? Yeah, you have to sew it inward like that. <laughs> I have to. Ah, oh, yeah, it's very hard. It's very hard. So there are trick for this. <laughs> you say just you have a trick for this <laughs> after I have done that. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> hey, come on, man! I'm having a hard time here. <laughs> Yours looks pretty good. Yeah, you almost done. He doesn't have to be there yet. Where, where is it? <laughs> you have a tube. So how long have we been doing? Wait a time. <laughs> A computer. It's a <laughs> check the computer. I don't know my one. <laughs> okay, I'll grab. Okay. I'll grab a piece of cheese. Okay. <laughs> what time is it? Nine thirty. Nine. In an hour and a half. <laughs> what you got? <laughs> well, I am the living proof that sewing is the first. Yes. <laughs> so now you have to sew it in. So I got the finished product. So we're just gonna finish quickly because we ran out of time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you see, but it's very therapeutic. I was here like I was calm and peaceful. So right, I agree. I agree with that. So now, so can you pass me the black roll of the uh, elastic? Yeah. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do two things. And, I'm gonna reuse this. To make, a, oh, to make the wrap, what? So here. We can, it's here, it's here. Oh, okay. So, oh, I'm gonna oh. make a tin rope to make around the edge like this to finish it. Right? Mm hmm. Oh. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, and we're gonna cheat because to sew another long rope around the neck, it's gonna be quite long. <laughs> so we just use an elastic band. So the elastic band, it's easy. You can find this anywhere. You can find them in the dollar store. Um, in my case, it, in my closet. <laughs> <laughs> you measure around your neck, right? And mm -hmm. then you're gonna add an extra inch around the neck okay and then you're gonna cut it off now the problem with the elastic is they fray and the little trick for this is to stop the fraying you have two choices to sew <laughs> which which is hard and time consuming and we're not doing that <laughs> or it can burn we can burn it <laughs> So, I'm gonna use a little tea candle. So you burn a little tea candle, right? We're making a little... Tea candle. And what you need to do is, you basically you just burn the edge. To pass it through like that. And it basically is stopped from all the pricing. So you can either use the elastic that we do, it's more comfortable, or you can also just get ribbon and do that. Elastic is more practical. Yeah, right? But sometimes the elastic is not available for most people, right? Mm -hmm. So the ribbon, you can basically get the ribbon from the dollar store. You can use a velvet ribbon, or you can use like the grip wrap ribbon, so it's nice and easy. Now, and 
The second thing you need is... Oh, yeah. it's in the other bag. What? The black bag there. Huh? Okay. So what we also need is we're gonna put Velcro on here. I think it's the other one. Yeah. So the Velcro art supply is from the dollar store. Uh, you can get the dollar store one, this is not. Now the Velcro, if you don't, if you doesn't know this, it actually have a male and a female. I don't know that. Right? Wow. Well, well, yeah. You didn't know that? Yeah. You didn't know that. <laughs> so, you can get them into the little round thing like this, which um, I don't have the uh, female one, but I um, I have the raw one, which I'm gonna just make. <laughs> right? So, I use the same color on the edge, and I'm just gonna do about an inch of the, um, the thing. So the easiest way to do this is either to sew it or we use glue gun. <laughs> what? So we're glue gun. <laughs> so if you kind of get tired of sewing because we've been sewing an hour and a half and Louis is running out patient, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm actually trying to to go on. I'm actually trying to insure that insure that because I have no idea. So while that's warming up, I'm gonna cut about so I'm gonna cut the finishing of this. So it's about an inch for the female and inch for the male. Velcro. What's that? How do you finish your word? Uh, it's hard. <laughs> That's a hard to think. I have no idea. It's too hard. Oh my god, that's funny! <laughs> oh, come on. I'm level one here. I'm level one. So make sure you want to have both sides the same, right? Yeah, 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 like that. Okay. Ah, but it has two sides. Yeah, you don't? No, because the one, it was right. Ah, okay, I opened it. Let I ripped see. it open. <laughs> <laughs> it's my first time, you know. <laughs> please, <laughs> please. <laughs> it's not bad, it's not bad. Okay, fine. <laughs> on to this so I'm gonna make sure it around my neck nice and comfortable right so we have about one inch so this is a little bit longer than it is needed so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of freestyle this but you might want to measure them properly when you do this Glue this in and make sure you glue them the same way on both sides. And the trick is to place it on top of each other so you know exactly what and go which, right? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you gonna not sure and then that's gonna be an issue. So we place this here. I'm gonna take it off so I know I'm gonna need to glue, put glue here. So therefore, I can become a priest. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Do you have sin, my son? <laughs> oh no, I'm okay. Alright. <laughs> Do you have you one now? <laughs> oh no, I'm okay. Oh no, I'm okay. <laughs> Alright. Now, I'm 
gonna use this to put this around here. So I'm gonna sew it like that, right? And I'm gonna also gonna put wow. like an extra rim back here so I can have the little this pass through it. I'm gonna do this quickly. It's a double, it's easier. Yeah, you got it? Yeah, but I don't know how to do the middle part. So make sure you have an extra room in the back though. Because, so you have to sew it together. So to the middle part, what you can do is, you can either sew it like I do, just fold it up on the outside and just do a quick stitch like so because we're gonna fold it up and you won't see the stitch anyway right so you fold it the outside the right side on the outside so the wrong side of the fabric up together mm -hmm. and then you're just gonna quickly do around the edge so this protect from phrasing the fabric as well right so I just do it quickly like so around so for mine I need to have make sure it go all the way around and I have a little about little space in between because we need to pass this through right so I have about I would say a quarter of an inch open extra so that means I need to go all the way to the edge Usually, you want to make sure you have an up thread, which I don't have enough, so I need to add on for my. have two choices you can either so you see that I sewed it all the way to the end which you're gonna cut this off right and you're gonna flatten this down and you have that yeah mm -hmm. so from here flatten it yeah. so you have the sewn on the back and you're just gonna sew the back together around this. So you sew it together here. So make sure you figure out which side you want in the front when you do that. You want this side in the front or you want this side in the front? Okay, this side. That's the difference. One is two fold, this is one fold. This is two fold. Uh, two fold. Two fold? Yeah. So, which one looks better? I don't know. I like one fold. One, one fold. fold. One fold. One fold? So, yeah. one fold is gonna. You want there. Right? Yeah. So, that's fine. And. Oh. So, I'm just gonna sew this together to finish it up now if you really want to cheat you can just glue gun this thing I was gonna say that but I was kind of ashamed you should be ashamed <laughs> <laughs> well well if you want to glue gun that it's okay yeah so after this, I'm gonna quickly make a one in letter and we just glue gun the whole thing. 
And you will see it's going to be five times more faster. Yeah. So you sold it? No. So you sold your little he stopped, thread? He stopped it. <laughs> <laughs> he was just watching you. Yeah, sure. I'm kind of lost. You lost? Yes. <laughs> How, what do you mean? I mean, should, should I... So now here? you need this. So cut okay. this. So you have this here. It's so small. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's about to be small. <laughs> it's the center of the sewing thing. <laughs> so, sew this together. Okay. All the way around. Yeah, <coughs> like this. So tell me, you you told me you have a carnival in yes. Sao Paulo that's similar to the Rio edition. The Rio, yes. yes. So tell me about that. Uh, those are the biggest. And, the Rio? Uh, Rio and Sao Paulo are the biggest ones. Okay. So uh, why are they famous? Because it's very beautiful and people put a lot of effort on it. And it's, it's like a parade. I think it's... And do you have to qualify to be in it? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. there are two. Yeah, yeah. there are two. Uh-huh. Like, we call it the groups so that... So I put it inside before I sew. No, you can ju just pay. The you group go. that... Right, okay, but the groups that participate are called schools. They are samba schools. Uh, so not anybody can just do them. So. Uh, nah, no. Normally, they have like... If you're a tourist and you want to do that, there is a like a, a tourist package package you can buy that you can go and you can uh, parade, but you only parade in specific sectors where they have non choreographed uh, sectors. So the, what do you mean? They, you have to know how to dance to some sectors, yes, because you have a choreography. Oh, so you have to follow everything. Yeah, and oh, some wow. other sectors you're just parading, so you don't need actually you actually don't need that. Yeah, and like I have a friend back in Brazil, and he uh, cheers for and he parades every year for a school, and they rehearse all year around. So it's like in January this year, uh, they were preparing for carnival, which was like in February, but then like after the results were released and they knew who was the winner because it's a competition uh they were preparing like in march april they were preparing for next year which is going to be next march oh my goodness so yeah so they rehearse all year around because he uh he parades in a choreographed uh so it basically is a a, a show shoulder kind of thing yeah okay yeah, it's it's really big and, 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 and it's really well organized. I have never been there personally, but my aunt has a couple of times and she really enjoys it. And if you get like a good seat, because there are some seats where you can have like, they have food and drinks and then uh, you, you, you don't need to arrive so much time in advance. You can arrive like re with reasonable time. It's really enjoyable. I think it's, a, it's worth the money. To go so to go in to a pay? high end, you can pay like the most expensive ones. You're gonna pay like a hundred dollars, a hundred fifty dollars. But uh, like, what do you think? That's good. Uh, true. Yeah. Yeah. It's that's ready. Nice. That's nice. So there that's you go. Nice. This is easy. And what we could do is because we make this enough, yeah. and we can just interchange this on the top piece. Uh huh. But I want to blink it a little bit. Okay. Really? Right? So we have B. Mm. You see that's my, my style. My style. <laughs> <laughs> so this would go good with gold or yes. red. Right? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. So let's do the refine red. Okay. And a little bit of white in between that will sparkle everything out. Okay. Yeah, white's fine. 
So we're gonna put this out here because we're gonna do this one by one because this is more intricate now. <laughs> After all, we want perfection. Well, this is a finished product. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're gonna charge like a hundred dollars for that, so. Oh yeah. right. Yeah, I need more wine, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm gonna do them on the edge. So, basically, I'm taking up like a diamond drool, drool, drool on the middle. So, we're gonna put glue on there and then we're gonna quickly add the bead. So, I'm gonna do the red quickly because the red is smaller. Uh -huh. I'm gonna spill them over before it dry. And then I'm gonna quickly add some white in between and it will Now, if you want to keep this in the handmade thing, you can just do this by by beading by hand, but um, this is the quickest and easiest way to, mm. to do it. Do it. I like it. There you go. There you go. Nice. Very good. So, so this become a little more gothic. And so, if I want to add this to my color, just tuck it underneath, go around. There you go. So I have a bow tie. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you get turned. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you, Luis? Well, I'm still. Uh, I have a new style. Still oh, the, not the new style? <laughs> yeah, I have a new style. I have threads popping up. Yeah. From my from my bow tie. Okay. And but I didn't do the middle yet, so. But oh, it's you're in the same place for me. Yeah, I'm one step behind actually, because you're almost done with your treading. I'm not. Okay. So you need to sew a little bit tighter because you don't want to sh make sure this fall out. <laughs> 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 or you can just glue gun it. <laughs> Let's glue gun it. I think you want to go there, right? <laughs> well, yeah, I do, because. It's not. It's not. It's not gonna get better than that. So I assure you. You like the tricks. <laughs> <laughs> I assure you that it's not gonna get so better. So it's fine than because that. the edge. When you glue gun the edge, it actually keep it more nice and stiff. So uh, the only stipulation I want is make sure this is nice and straight line. So you can glue gun it, cut okay. off the thread, and make sure it's nice and straight. Okay. So I can cut off the thread. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay, so. No, no, leave it. Leave, leave it full in. Uh huh. And then you got just it after you put in the glue, right? Mm hmm. Mm, I don't know if it is right. So before you do that, Alejandro, is it you straight? need to do yeah. the track here, right? Yeah. So you want to make sure you do the fall 
and then you pass the thread right in the middle. So do the fold properly first. Is it straight enough? Put the glue in and you can adjust it. Okay. It's pro it's properly enough. Is that right? Uh no, you want to make no. sure it have a nice fold. So whichever you want. And the other trick is you can do it by the pin. So you can just pin it. The needle go through it. Where is it? Here, use this needle. Like this, so you tie it at one end. Right, so what you want, if you want, this, you're gonna pass the needle through. So you fold it one, you fold it two, and you fold it three. Okay. Right, and then you just pass the needle right in the center of all of it. Now, you may want to not have any of the white thread showing, so you want to cut all that off as well. So as you do that, you're gonna secure what the bow tie gonna look like by just round the thread around it. Okay. And then you just make a knot. Pass it through. And then pass it through again. And then that's it. So make sure cut up all the excess thread. Mm -hmm. And then make sure take away all the white thread. Okay. I'll weigh the white thread. Yeah, because you don't want the white thread to show either. So you can put the needle. Ta -da! That's pretty good. That's the both side? It's still hot, hot, hot. Mm -hmm. So. Right. Ah. Cut all this in two. Yeah, that's pretty good. So okay. You can cut all that in two. Two. See blue skin. Awesome. So apparently we can just glue the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I did do like the harder version of it, but no, we didn't need to do that. <laughs> Louis have like show us we can just glue it. <laughs> it took me half an hour to thread it, and it was like bad. And then in thirty seconds, <laughs> which is fine. Whatever, we'll make you happy. It. We'll just glue it. What is the relaxing thing? <laughs> oh no, yeah, but sewing. I I have to admit, like sewing, it was it's really hard because it's my it's my first time. After well, aside from buttons, so you don't need the white thing underneath for this uh -huh. part. Yeah, I'm and if you want, you can just glue this and see what happens. <laughs> One. Uh, I don't know where to cut, but okay. Now I have to. So you have to sew it together now. Yeah. So sew it together at the top. Here. So, make sure we flatten this out first. So, you open this up. So, all the sewn pieces are hidden on the inside and cut away all the thread, right? I'm sorry. So, this is more than you need. So, we don't need all this much. We just need enough to. But you can fold that. Yeah. Yeah. So, you want to do it twice? Yeah. Okay. I think it's nice because it's so thin. But you have to make sure you hide okay. the excess fabric. Oh, okay. So if you fold it through, you may not be able to hide it. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, right. So you flat it down. And then what you can do is you just fold it around this, like so. Mm -hmm. 
and then cut off for the excess. Make sure you have extra room so you can yeah. put this the elastic on it back. And the reason we use the elastic is why? It stretches. Right. I'm trying to glue everything. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> so we have the glue gun expert. <laughs> But you can't, like, I cannot fold it. When you glue it, I cannot, like, fold it the other way around. So, so, what you can do is, instead of that, let's undo this for a second. Mm -hmm. uh, we can use another piece. Do you have an extra one? Yeah, uh, use that. No, you have it up here. It's a bit good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So glue it on top of each other. Oh, okay. Right, so hold it in and then on top of each other. Mm -hmm. so and then glue. Yeah. So do the edge. And then fold the other one on top. Whoa. Like this. Oh. <laughs> I'm having a drink. <laughs> Manual handling zero. Oh crap. It's really hard. Okay. There's no easy way for most of them. <laughs> How does that turn out? Not bad, <laughs> horrible. Not enough. Here, I give you a new piece. Yeah. Try this, Louis. <laughs> yeah, let that go. <laughs> <You need laughs> let that. it go. <laughs> As Elsa would say, let it go, let it go. Here, glue, glue it. No, wait, wait, wait. This may not be enough. Where the scissors? Here. Got it. Yeah. I lost the, my needle. You lost your needle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where's the glue? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so much drama! <laughs> you see, that's why that's what happens when you try sewing for the first time. <laughs> Alright, now put the other one on top. Right. Why right. my own finger is hot? <laughs> I found it. <laughs> you sorry. found it? Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, go, 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 go. So, we might need to like four finger to do this. <laughs> yeah, well. This one needs some some help, so right. So there you go. So you have, oh, that's actually look good. Yeah, uh, yes. it look doable. Now, you have to actually make a bow tie of this first. Okay. So you do one, two, four. Okay, one, two, four. Yeah. Now I need. So just fold. The best way to do is, the middle part. Pull the tip into the middle, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. And then pull the other tip into the middle. Uh -huh. And then you have it. Okay. Let me see. Uh, it looks like the pasta. Oh my god! It, it is the pasta. pasta. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this look not bad. 
But it had to be stable. <laughs> <laughs> this one looks bad, but it's not good yet. Yeah. No, it, it's fine. That's my problem with the stability. That's my problem. <laughs> The glue. <laughs> so let me see the bottle. The, uh, oh, dun, 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 dun. Do we have a comment on the Facebook? Uh, check the computer. So is Cosmo Sue? It Basilita? It's from Chile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Connoisseur. Connoisseur. Bicicleta. Bicicleta. So this is the wine we're drinking it from Chile. I don't know if you can read it. It's a really good wine. It's pretty good. Now, so it is 10.95 Chile white wine. Tasting note. So what do you say it tastes like? Uh, very uh, acidic. Mm -hmm. So very fresh. Makes your mouth salivate. Okay. Uh, fresh fruit, green fruits, mm -hmm. green berries, I would say. I don't know if green berries is an English word, but I said that. Yeah. And um, that's all I remember. Alejandro? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at it. It's alcohol. Why? It tastes good. <laughs> For me, it's good. It's more like, good. what wine is that? White. Yeah. No, what wine is that? It's good or not good. This one is good. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. It so it's actually a very good value. Um, so it does have the green apple and pineapple taste to it. Okay. It, uh, the grapefruit is what you probably referred it to, to like kind of berry-ish acidity. Okay. So this is the tasting note. Pale gold color. It's true. I would well this is more a little bit more gold than normal. It just, Maybe it's because yeah. normally when it's pale if you let it rest and breathe for a while it yeah. gets like okay. it changes the color a little bit. So Yeah. So this is more a, I would call it a more of a golden color if you see it. Uh it it tropical aroma melon. Peach orange blossom note. Um Peach orange blossom note. It dry medium yeah. body with great acidity and flavor of grapefruit, peach, green apple, and pineapple with good string on finishing. Would you say does this have a nice finish to it? I would say so. It's a wine that invites you to eat and drink more with it. Yeah. So it suggests this serving it to serve with stir fry, uh, wok saute, white meat, vegetable, creamy, poultry. I think the stir fry it may be a bit over would overpower <laughs> this, but um, the poultry, creamy poultry would go nice with this actually. Yeah, yes. the stir fry thing, the stir fry is recommended because of the acidity. Everything that uh, has high acidity is good to wash your mouth. Right. So, but do you think it it it? it uh, I would the stir fry would overpower this apple pie. Yeah, normally I think the food would overpower it. That's what I mean. Okay. Yeah. So I wouldn't do it to stir fry, but I would like the white meat will off. It's good. Yeah, I will go. <laughs> Just burn my finger. Himself. <laughs> Just burn my finger. Live on Facebook. <laughs> So this is a 750 bottle, um, it's from Chile, uh, sugar contents at 8 gram of a liter. Um, yeah, so I would definitely suggest this. So all the wine I, um, I got for this project has actually been suggested by a wine connoisseur at the LCBO of Ontario, um, of uh, the wine that people, so it, would, it wouldn't be something that um, I 
most people would pick L from I don't know it's like a under ten dollar bottle kind of thing. So it does have a good recommendation. So I think this would definitely would uh, something I would keep it in stock and have a table yeah. wine or like something at home to drink. It really good value for what it is. It it actually taste it it doesn't taste like a ten dollar bottle of wine. No, it doesn't. No. Yeah. And uh, I've had uh, wines from these region. Uh, if you're gonna have like fish light uh dishes made out of fish or salad this is a awesome. this is an awesome choice yep so go for it go for it so so go around and have an extra fish. Wow. Uh, give it So you can blue gun it. I'll make sure I get all the white out. It's so that's oh, really? Yeah. Cut it and don't pour it because it, uh, it's still. Um... Mm. I put so much force in there. Put so much effort to do that, and I was gonna cut it off. <laughs> it's okay, honey. That's what happens in suing sometimes. You always should do your best, whatever you do, anyway. So. So, um, if you want to know where you get most of this, so you can get this at basically, a, uh, I don't know, you can, yeah, you can get this at their stone supply store, but I don't know where you can find these anymore in uh, Toronto because um, they are way out there. I used to have a, a, um, a, um well, I used to be a designer, so we have I have a, a lot of uh, supply from uh, that period of time of my life. But, uh, but like I said, you can find some of these in the dollar store for um, the sticker one. It actually you just stick right on like these. I got a junior bow tie. Yeah, that's pretty good. Just here, it's like the glue gun. It's like yeah, I have yeah. to glue. Uh, I have to glue. It down oh wait, a bit more. No, what did you glue the inside in? How are you gonna pass it through? No, I'm not passing it through. I'm passing it behind. No, there's no there's no fabric for that. No, oh. inside, in between. There's no fabric for that. There was no fabric for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it. We we're gonna have to adapt and and innovate. <laughs> or I can take a lot. Louis. Yes. For the ball. It's missing some pleat. <laughs> no, it's a ju that's why I told you. That's a junior. A junior junior bow ties have just one pleat. It's for kids. It's for kids. It's for you. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm, I'm making a special model for kids. That's my specialty. So you're not wearing them? <laughs> well, I can't wear them, but I, they, they are not Okay, you want me to adjust it? Okay, well, it, you can. It's fine. It's clue gun. The other thing about the glue gun is it workable, right? <laughs> <laughs> so now, if you, you want from this until a tie, it's very easy. There are a lot of room because this actually squeeze it in. Okay. Right. Uh -huh. So squeeze it in it easy. So we just need to thread it. So where your needle? You have some thread ready? Uh, no, because I use my thread and then I pull it off. Uh, yeah. so. Uh, it's just to glue here. Yeah, and then you flat. Okay. What do you want? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. How much? About what? Oh, you should burn the end first. Mm -hmm. What? Ah, sorry. So, <laughs> what? 
I just uh, freak out. Uh, oh, wow, really? What I need? I'm a train on No, well, I think it's better you burn it. <laughs> yeah, it's safer. You want me to do it? Yeah. Just pass it through the flame. Into the fire. <laughs> and then... Okay, try this so I can do this. Okay. Alright, you want me to burn it? No. And then the fire, and then the fire Toronto department's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we had our first fire alarm uh, this week. Yeah. The real one or the fake one? Uh, no, it was a false alarm, but it was like I was just out of the shower. Yeah. So put it on this side. And then the fire alarm started, uh, went off. And then he came to me, oh my god, what's going on? And I said, oh, I can't believe that. It's the fire alarm. Yeah. Did you leave the house or you stayed? We left. We left. So you walk now? Yeah, 20 stories. Only That's actually three. good exercise. I need to walk up and down 24 stories every day. Okay, well, I go to the gym for that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Do you have more flu? Yes. <laughs> I go to the gym for that, so I don't need to do it. You realize the gym is about to be the, the everyday thing that you put included in. <laughs> Otherwise, it feels like work. So if you, wow. you know the first three times, it's very difficult, but after you do that, it's actually very simple. And then, well, it was a, it was like a pain in the ass because the alarm the alarm was off. So going down the stairs with that, yeah, yeah. And yeah. her head like kind of. Okay, the friend, the it's not. It's not very. And everybody was like at the lobby, so they were freaking on the out. ground floor. No, oh. no one was freaking out. But like, uh, we thought no one. We thought no one would like obey the the alarm. But when we uh, got to the ground floor, like everybody was there. Oh, yeah, because so, like. Oh, I it's I like. Oh, I broke the computer. Whoa, really? It's like everybody was okay with it. Like uh, everybody was calm. And organized, but like everybody was down. You need to retread it. Okay. So, if you broke the window, you need to put it back out. Use the tweezer. <laughs> nice and easy. Yeah. Can I get? Can I grab the big? One? Yeah, get the big one. Yeah, because the um, the the problem is too hard to pass it through. Yeah. And then everybody was downstairs and then the fire Toronto department came, uh, they investigated, found out that it was like the fire alarm was triggered because of a problem, but uh, it wasn't a fire. So yeah. uh, we went back. Okay. Using the stairs to the top. There you floor. go. There you go. It looked pretty good. No please. It's good. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have my junior bow tie, so it's gonna be like okay. So, so sin is have glue inside, so you can pass through it. So what you can do is you can pass on the edge of it. Okay. So there's no glue on the edge, right? Uh huh. You knot it. Oh. Yeah, they did. But I think it's not big enough. And the trees are helping. Ah, okay. The first time I, I didn't go over. The first time I tried it, I just like toot toot and then I stopped. Okay. That's why it didn't work. You see? And. Okay, we don't have enough thread, so mm -hmm. we're gonna glue it on it. Okay. Let's glue it with it. That's it. That's it. We use this one. Yeah, we use this. So. <laughs> 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 it's a 
little bit sad, but... <laughs> Fucked up. <laughs> it's a little bit screwed up. <laughs> it's doable. <laughs> so it's a little bit lopsided. <laughs> uh, so make sure when you add this on, it in the center. <laughs> okay. Right. So we need the elastic thing first. Okay. Do you? Okay. If you if you say there is enough fabric, I believe that. Because you're a pro. Pass through back and forth, that's all you need to do. And we do glue gun. Oh, we can do glue gun after. Easier. So, I want the more pleated in the front because that's more pleasant looking. Okay. So we add this on the back. And we want to do it near the closing area if you want or a little bit farther in so you either have one or the other so you can either choose all the way to the end or near the edge so in this case let's do it in the far in the middle right mm -hmm. so now fold it in and then fold one and then fold the other on top So we can burn this too because this is actually synthetic fabric. So it doesn't fray. And glue gun. Yay! My favorite part. So just on the <laughs> edge. Yep. Not too, not too edgy because it's gonna fall onto the elastic. Watch my finger. <laughs> Your finger. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Don't worry. Now fold the fold the other one in. Oh, it's not enough. Just touch it. Oh. Now the opening. Put some glue on the opening. See? Yeah, guys, when when playing with glue, it burns. Uh, <laughs> have a paint. No, but that is how you read from that color rock. No, no, it's not. It's not that. It's like when when uh, when using the glue gun. Uh, remember to have a pinch. A Re remember how to, to remember to have a pitch, so you can like do the you can hold the things. Because we, we were two people, so we had four hands. So if you're alone, you got to have a pitch so you can hold things and then you glue gun it and then you, you can touch the sure. the pitch and you're going to burn your fingers <laughs> and then you hold things in place. It's better. All right. Now you can just glue on your... Looks nice, this one. The Velcro. Yeah, so you have one. I think it's two. I don't know where they are. Two. Okay. You may want to do them like that. Okay. Get rid of it. The whole velcro. The whole velcro. So you might want to glue the velcro instead of the elastic. <laughs> I need some I need some of your uh, liquid bandage. Oh you burn yourself? Yeah, I took a piece out of, I took a piece of my finger out. Really? Yeah. Oh. You're missing a piece of skin, burn. <laughs> Alright, 
So, where are you? You do what end? Uh huh, now so I this need the other one. This. So, this end. So, let's see. Burn the table. You should do around the edge of that all you need. Yeah? Yeah. Because the edge is where it's gonna come off, right? So, we should do the edge. Okay, go ahead. Put it on. I'm not touching it. <laughs> I am okay. Don't worry. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Let it dry. It actually looks very pretty. Yeah, see? You want to put bling on it or not? No, it's okay. <laughs> no more glue for that. <laughs> I don't. I don't have a bitch, <laughs> and I don't have a finger. <laughs> All right. No, but actually, actually, uh, this sat satin, satin, satin. I think the satin is is. Uh, it's better like this. When I when I when I picked this color, mm -hmm. I thought like when I visualized it, I visualized it like that, like a clean okay. a clean purple. Uh, yeah. okay. really it actually looks very nice. You yeah. just have to clean up the glue gun. Yeah, and it's yeah. ready. So now it's ready. Yeah, it looks very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> there you go. So there you go. This would be really good. Fun. <laughs> so this was the bottom from Chili. Eleven dollar um ten ninety ten ninety five Canadian. So that's it. So see you next week. Next week we making our head pieces for our 1930 style of um, a really nice and glamorous thing for New Year. So tune in. I have a crazy people coming on. <laughs> <laughs> well, cheers, cheers, cheers. cheers. <laughs>